Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. All right, so what, uh, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? Uh, today I was out trying to break the Ruger 57 or 57. What, mm -hmm. how, how well do you think I did? Uh... <laughs> I mean, having watched did you, your yeah, work, yeah, did you well, have an well, exorcism? Ruger come next week. <laughs> Tune in and find out. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> um, did it explode? No. Oh, okay. I, I remember. I, I still had my hands. No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Nothing blew up. Nothing okay. went off out of back. Okay. Did you figure out how to load it properly? <laughs> load I did. Yeah. We actually shot a scene where I purposely put a round backwards in a magazine, and I, I said, this is, you know, we finally got this particular gun to malfunction. And I, I left it out because it just opened myself up to too much trolling. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah so you, you didn't get enough of that on the Glock 44 video, obviously. Uh, no, I didn't have to load anything backwards to make that one. <laughs> yeah, that was I, interesting. I watched your video, and yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I saw a couple of similar malfunctions. Yeah, I thought that was interesting that uh, we see. OK, so when we were doing that video, right, we we heard about I didn't look at other people's videos. So I deliberately didn't look at your video. But of course, we heard about guns <laughs> blowing up. So we're like, we're going to put at least 500 rounds through this thing, see if it blows up. So that's what we were looking for. But yeah, so and then I just posted everything that happened. And it was interesting that you were getting the same or we were getting the same uh, malfunctions that you were getting. Right. Yeah, my favorite was the live round stovepipe. I mean, what could possibly go wrong with the rimfire? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. like, what? When yeah. it happened, and I saw it happen in your video, I thought, oh boy, yeah. And and I don't think any of the, the uh, you know, out of battery detonations I've seen were that type. I mean, I, I saw like a split case in a chamber, you know, the head had disappeared, but the most of the case was still in the chamber, things like that. So it doesn't appear that that's what's happening, but I mean, seriously. You know, when you have a, a polymer slide smash a rimfire cartridge up against the uh, the face of a barrel, I mean, geez. Yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't realize until I was looking at your what the uh, thing that you and Jason did that, yeah, if that happens in just the right way, <laughs> might be an yeah. interesting day. Boom. Yeah, it might be an interesting That's day. We were safety glasses. <laughs> yes. Um, lots of different things. Overall, what do you feel about the gun? Because I, I, my big thing about it is I think that they made that gun for for the world. It's a world gun versus like an America gun. Yeah. You know. Um, yeah, they got a huge international market, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I think um, as far as twenty twos go, if you're a nine, Glock nineteen carrying person, mm -hmm. you know get it. it you know just run the right ammo through it mm -hmm. if i put mini mags in it and even the the golden bullets from remington were working fine once i you know properly loaded the magazines mm -hmm. which apparently i wasn't doing in my first video by the second video i'd seen i mean when you go to glock's website I, it, see if you can bring this up it should still be there so you go to the product page on the glock website for the g44 mm -hmm. and then you have a nice big you know um a big picture of the gun and then right below it the first thing you see is a video on how to load the magazine Right. Yeah. Do you never... think that's happenstance, or do you think maybe they knew something? Yeah, they probably knew something. I mean, they said they they did a lot of testing, right? Supposedly. Yeah. They, they, they claimed they like did. what over a million rounds, one point two yeah. million rounds fired, or something like that, and one hundred forty one different flavors of ammo. But they didn't say whether they had any problems. They just said that they fired one hundred forty one different types of ammunition to the tune of one point two million rounds. Perhaps they just left out the part where you know some of them didn't work. Yeah. So I think. They they really hyped the thing, right? As they always do. They called it legendary. They made all these claims about reliability. Such was saying that Glock told him they had one G44 that had fired 12,000 rounds without any cleaning, without a single malfunction. Now, There's I've been no shooting way. 22s for you know, yes. darn near 40 years now. Mm -hmm. And I have never seen a gun that would make it 1,000 rounds without a malfunction, it's either ammo-related or not. Yeah, it's just not possible with a self-loading 22, in my opinion. So when, when that claim was made, I'm thinking, okay, the marketing department's, you know, yeah, doing speed. Yeah, there's a bunch <laughs> of there's a bunch of videos here. When I'm scrolling through their thing, I'm not sure exactly which uh, one it is. I'm I'm looking at the uh, Glock site now. I'm not. Sh there's a bunch of videos on there. 
uh, let's see. They might be. It's probably one of the videos you're talking. They have a lot of stuff. Here's the thing. I, I they moved it because I pointed it out on okay. the, on the forums, and they maybe readjusted it because it looked like an admission. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah. Um, the just the way that they roll that gun out to me, it seemed to me like they were like, yeah, we 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 definitely gonna ignore the people in America when we put this gun out. It's right there. there. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. All you gotta do is go to the U.S. version. I'll send it to you. If I yeah, can. text it to me if you can, and I'll and I'll play it. Um, but yeah, it seemed to me like they just went oh, yeah. out of their way to say yeah. this is not an American. This is not an American gun, but we'll be nice to you and let you have the gun. And um, I agree with you that if because I feel that I feel that way about it that if um, let me see. Okay, someone just I just it linked here. it. It's it's the the second drop down. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, you just kind of scroll down, you know, you have the glam shot of the pistol there. And then right underneath it, the first thing you see, Glock 44, real Glock, new caliber, experience, 22 long rifle. By the way, load your magazine like this, otherwise it won't work. Yeah, let me uh, see if I can pull that up. Okay, there's some kind so, of... So, yeah, man, I, I mean, it's so... Data. It, and it, yeah. It's not... I saw one comment say, you know, they, uh, you know, it's not fair to judge a gun on based on a few examples, something I fully agree with. However, I know quite a few people now that have them, and none of them have told me that the gun's 100% reliable with all the ammunition that they have in their possession that they fire out of other firearms. That's why I brought out the TX-22 from Taurus. I mean, people were saying I was using junk ammunition in the Glock 44, and that's why it wasn't working. Okay, Federal's one of the largest manufacturers of ammunition in the United States, and I, I don't exactly think of them as being junk, but Remington possibly, right? So. I, I went and picked up a gun that most people consider to be a junk gun manufacturer, Taurus, and I grabbed my junk ammunition and my junk gun with the junk ammo cycled everything that the G44 couldn't cycle. So mm -hmm. I, I think that proved that at least with my copy of the gun, there's there's something going on. Now, 22 Plankster with federal sense. ammunition, uh, you know, federal sends me ammo, although I bought all the 22. They don't send me 22, but apparently they send uh, Plankster a lot of 22. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he had the same problems with the federal ammo. But, mm -hmm. you know, most people buy 22s, I think, and I do. The not cheapest. so I can go out and buy an $8 yeah. box of mini mags. I go out so I can buy a $10 box, and maybe I'm dating myself there. What is it, like 20 bucks now for a, a brick, 500 rounds? Yeah. Um, I so, buy a bucket of bullets. <laughs> yeah, yeah a bucket of bullets. Right? You're buying bulk camo, right? You're yeah. not buying it. Yeah. To, you're not going to go shoot a bullseye match with your Glock 44. No. You want a, a cheap alternative, at least yeah. I would think. Yeah, so, I mean, my I've got I still have bucket of bullets that I remember. What were those like two thousand rounds in a bucket of bullets that I mm -hmm. paid like sixty bucks for? <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid, it was like ten, eleven bucks for five hundred rounds. We called them bricks. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what? I, I yeah, it did do the same things. I noticed that like when we were shooting it, obviously we noticed that, and it's in the video, and that's what we did there. And then when you pointed it out to me, and I went and looked at your videos, the same exact things. The big complaints, like you said, is that if you compare it to that TX-22, we yeah. we ran the TX-22 right after that. And we have a video up on that. Um, no, no. How issues. many malfunctions did you have? None. Any? None. None. Yeah. I felt that sick. I felt so dirty, like suggesting it as as a really awesome 22 <laughs> pistol, because I, like Taurus to me is always screamed like never buy a Taurus. Oh It's yeah. like it's like the mullet of of the gun world. You just okay. don't have allow friends to have one. <laughs> oh, you're gonna um, get blamed for that one. Yeah, yeah. Tell, but says the guy from Tampa. Says the guy but from the Tampa. But the TX22 was was awesome, and I, I couldn't believe it. It's it was really really good. It was. Yeah. See, I didn't expect much either. I had seen so many mm -hmm. glowing reviews of it. I thought, okay, there, there's no way everybody's being honest here. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna go buy one, and I'm gonna see how bad this gun is. And my kid loves shooting it. Yep. I love shooting it. Yep. I run it suppressed, unsuppressed, and I haven't put a single 22 type of ammunition in it that it didn't cycle. Mm -hmm. So, well, that's not true. I have some old Prime 22s, and that's bolt action gun. Prime is so pud loaded, nothing would work with it. <laughs> um, okay. So, but anyway, yeah. outside of that, you know, all the other 22s I have on hand, you know, it cycled. It even mm -hmm. ate the, like, we stuck Subsonics in it, which are mm -hmm. hard. Those are hit or miss on, on auto loaders, and it ate mm -hmm. that too. Yeah. yeah, it's ridiculous how good that gun works. Yeah, you I know? think it's like, great. I got it, I took it apart, and I'm like, wow, the slide feels like pot metal, like Z-Mac, and I'm thinking, <laughs> this thing will last long. <laughs> yeah. I can't break the darn thing. It, it, feel, it feels good in the hand, too. It, it feels like a good gun. 
It feels very it feels natural. Like it's got yeah. a trigger on it. I mean, yeah. it looks like for us that they got weird design cues, like, you know, they're trying to make it look futuristic or something. It's kind of too swoopy for me, mm -hmm. but you can't deny the fact the gun shoots good and, you know, yeah. it feeds everything I've put into it. I don't think I've ever cleared a malfunction out of the gun. Yeah. It's the exception of Prime, but that was expected. In terms of the futuristic look, like I thought it looked like a Steyr. Remember the Steyr pistols? Do you remember that? Yeah. What, the M9A1s? Yeah. Uh, is, is that no, what you're talking about? No, no, no. It, remember the Steyr is like the thing that came before the Glock and it had like that triangle or... Yeah, that's the, that's the M9. M9. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you say that, I, I found on CDNN they had a closeout on their version of the 22. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know... I actually, I, I had, so the M9s had, were recalled because they could fire uh, potentially without the trigger being pulled. Oh, but in the that's... recall letter that was on their website, it said, although we've had no reported issues. Well, I have video that I posted on my Patreons a long time ago mm -hmm. of the thing actually firing without me pulling the trigger. Mm -hmm. Oh. And so I stopped shooting the gun. <laughs> that had all I've, sorts of mouth. I always I wondered why this is dried up. Because they, they dried up out of the – those those M9s dried up out of the market for a long time, and I never knew why. I guess that's the reason why they were gone for I so long. I don't know, man. There was so much weird stuff going on with the importation. Like some mm -hmm. importer got some unlicensed copies of parts guns or something they brought in that really, mm -hmm. you know, had a bad rep. And then, you know, Steyr started bringing them in again. And then, yeah, they just kind of come and go, but I don't think they're real big sellers. They, people like – they say that it's uber reliable and all this other stuff. That hasn't been my experience. I have two of them, the, the compact and then the uh, the full size with a threaded barrel, and all they do is malfunction. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, other than 22s, I'm just trying to, I know, let's see. I know we. I don't know if there's questions coming in here. Let's see what other stuff we wanted to talk about. Um, what other stuff? I know you're sh you were shooting the MDR lately. Bull pups, yeah, the 6.5. Yeah, let's, you know, we can talk about some bull pups. Um, yeah, bull yeah. 308 bull pups. There yep. are only a handful of those on the market. Right. So you have like a special uh, upgrade or barrel change? No. Okay. So they, they uh, the standard MDR, which I have like an old first gen gun because mm -hmm. Copper became a dealer for them. Uh, they were a dealer for the bolt guns and then became a dealer for the, uh, the MDR. We were really excited to see it. So we got some of the, the first couple of rifles. Uh, that it went out Gen 1 guns, and I grabbed one of those, mm -hmm. and um, I've been shooting it. I never had any problems with mine. Uh, I hunted with it and stuff like that. And of course, it was in 308. And then I started seeing, you know, other videos out there where people were having problems with them, some pretty serious problems. And then people started going to my comment section, and you know, usually I'm the one that breaks everything. So when I get a gun that actually works and everybody else is breaking it, then mm -hmm. I get trolled. Like, oh, you're covering up your shoe. It's like, oh, no, <laughs> you don't know. You can't me, win. No, there's no way of winning. But that's, that's yeah. the way fate works, right? Mm -hmm. it, it just messes with you. So mm -hmm. everybody else has a broken one. I have the one that works. And then I have the one that's broken, and everybody else has the one that works. <laughs> so no matter what, I'm always the bad guy. But um, so, yeah, I mean, the thing worked great. And then they even contacted me and uh, and said, hey, you know, why don't you send that Gen 1 gun in for the upgrades? And I said, because it works, and I don't want to mess with something that works. I don't want to fix it if it isn't broken. Mm -hmm. And they finally convinced me to send it in. And it came back as a 308, still working. So... You know, I was I was happy because I, I didn't know what to expect. And then uh, they called me just before Christmas and said, what do you want for Christmas? Of course, I knew who I was talking to, Desert Tech. And I said, uh, six, five Creedmoor MDR. And they said, Merry Christmas. We're going to send you a prototype barrel. But by the time oh. I got the barrel, it's a production barrel. And um, I slapped it in the gun. Doesn't require anything but a barrel swap, which with a you know an MDR, you just got to loosen a couple of screws and turn a lock screw and uh, pops right out. Pop the other barrel in like two minutes. And I was mm -hmm. shooting six five Creedmoor. Yeah, and so now I, I'm really I saw happy. that video. Like the only six five Creedmoor bullpup on the market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that video. Um, that's one of the things I like about the MDR, right? That you could so easily uh, switch the barrels, go to different guns. Um, it's just there's been that thing. That whole thing has like a weird history. Uh, Desert Tech is really weird to me. Um, it's almost like they don't like civilians. I want to say. <laughs> Or they don't think the you know civilian what? market has anything to do with, like, they're not looking for us to buy their guns. They want the military to buy it or something. That's what they're trying for, but I don't think they've been too successful. And they they, uh, they, they shared my video, even though I, I said that, you know, I think they mismarketed the gun. I've said that more than once. You know, they had, a for their advertisements, they had guys running around in, you know, RoboCop outfits with mm -hmm. their gun. Mm -hmm. And, you know, kind of implying that it's a futuristic military Leo-type weapon. And, you know, I've always said, I don't think it's 
you know, that kind of a gun. It's more of a hunting gun or a target gun. And, uh, you know, then you watch Grand Thumb's video where he actually throws a thing in a muddy river stream, whatever it was, and uh, the thing just poops. And then, um, so that was the first time I saw somebody do that to it. I knew better than to do that to mine because I didn't have high hopes for it. Uh, and I don't want to break it because <laughs> mm -hmm. I actually enjoyed hunting with it. So when I saw that and I actually called him up and, and um, said, hey, man, you're still having some issues with the gun? And he's like, yeah, man, you know, I, I don't think it's really, uh, you know, a, a military type firearm. I said, yeah, I kind of agree so, yeah. still. So I, I had a reality check there before I said that. But, yeah, they they um, they asked me why I said that. And I said, you know, go watch Grand Thumbs video. And, you know, it's yeah. It's just not that it has that scissoring bolt action and you know, I do keep the gun fairly clean lubricated and It's just not something I would you know go throwing around in a sandbox and expect it to work, but yeah um, Who knows? Well, maybe we'll just take one out this uh, the summer and we'll start a bullpup gauntlet We'll do the uh, the MDR versus the uh, Tavor 7 versus like, the X95 and see what happens. I like this idea. I like this idea um, You know, no, my luck will blow up in my face uh Yes, make sure I'm invited so I can come and uh, get video. <laughs> nothing, nothing like having a rifle cartridge go off about that far from your face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Tyvin Show gave us five bucks. Thanks a lot, Tyvin. He says, have a great weekend, everyone. Uh, thank you What's for up, that. What's up, Tyvin? Um, I, I think I have a lot of bullpups. You actually have a lot of bullpups. So I guess you got to be the bull. Maybe I'll be the bullpup king. You could be the bullpup emperor or something like that. Okay, sure. <laughs> I do love them. It's kind of funny. It's, it isn't like I uh, I wanted to love them. It's just I really kind of started gravitating towards them. But I've had bullpups ever since the original AUG came out, you know. Yeah, yeah. But back they're then, that they're was sexy. Really yeah, they're sexy. And here's the thing. I was going to say this to you when you came on the show today, so I'm going to do it right now. By the way, everyone out there, smash the thumbs up, so we appreciate that. Um, here's what I'd like you to do, Mac. Make a video about the guns you don't have. This is what I need. Oh, there's lots of those, man. Yeah. No, but I need, I, need, I need a list. <laughs> I need a list of the guns you don't have, so that way, when I make that video thinking that you... Oh, Mac doesn't have this gun. I didn't do a video on this. And then all of a sudden you pull it out of the archive somewhere. <laughs> That's pretty crushing, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, no like one has ones. this, huh? Uh, you know the new ones. I, I'm kind of picky, but uh, mm -hmm. the old ones, man, I want them all. Yeah. With the steel. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.